going on everybody? Today I'm going to be answering the Q&A questions. Finally, I made a Q&A video called Ask Me Tons of Questions on April 22nd, 2019. So it's been a while, but I'm just going to finally answer the questions. I have a few new questions, but these are the main questions. Alright, so first is from the Whack Pack. Thoughts on your channel? Um, your channel is good you you have a lot of videos i guess i mean maybe post a little bit more post some more roller coaster videos um you have a lot of videos that don't have too many views and then you have a few that like have a crap ton so that's kind of funny but um yeah it's pretty good um when do you plan on making it out to carolyn's i want to in probably 2022 maybe 2021 but probably 2022 i really want to go to carolyn's um uh, so the next question is from I, I have more from him but i'm gonna go back to that um because eat me um When am I going to Australia to ride Reese's Rivals Hyper Cups and I'm a super fan Escape? I'm not even going to answer that question, I'm going to be honest. Um, I'll probably, I don't know, how we call them. If, on a serious question, I'll, I'll go to Australia, like, the next... We'll say in the next six years or the next five years. I'll say that. Um, maybe in five years. Huh. That be that sounds good. How old am I? Um I'm pretty soon gonna turn fifteen. Um am I gonna do a face reveal? I know a few people have asked that and this was like a year ago, so I've done a face reveal. Since then, I mean, I'm showing my face right now, so. What else do I like? Uh, as well as coasters, you said. What else do you. This is from X Coasters Forever. What else do you also like listed, as well as coasters, and then. Said horse racing, water slide, swimming pool, skydiving. I like them all. Um. I like swimming. I love water slides. Um, I did indoor skydiving. And I fly in San Antonio when I went there. So um, I'll have to post some. If you tell me in the comments if you want me to post a video of me doing I fly. Um, I think I have those. So um, look for if you want to know like other hobbies I have. I enjoy football, basketball, hockey. Um, YouTube, um, but my main passions and hobbies outside of coasters is, I like sports, but mainly football, basketball, and hockey. Got football, hockey, um, in the back there we got basketball net, but, um, yeah, uh, we got any, wear a lot of these, okay, I got there's basketball. There's Cavaliers, kind of an old one, but all right. Um, Coaster Hour asked a lot of questions. Or no, it's just a duplicate. All right, most anticipated coaster. Like my number one bucket list coaster is El Toro, probably. Um, I really want to ride El Toro. There's some other ones though. I think. El Toro is mainly because I'm about to ride it, and I know it's one of the best. But, I mean, I I still would say it's my most anticipated. Um, favorite family coaster that I've ridden is... I don't really know what it considers it as family coasters. Like, I can't think off the top of my head. But 
I love Roadrunner Express. There's an airtime moment in there. Like, after the drop, when you turn left, um, there's a pop of airtime, which is pretty good. Like, I, I was shocked for Family Coaster. It gave you some pretty good air. But, um, I like Space Mountain. I guess that's kind of Family Coaster at Disney um, in Florida. So, that's pretty good. Um, Moto Coaster, Darien, Darien Lake's a pretty good ride. Um, but yeah, um, favorite city to visit or go to? I I haven't been to many to too many cities. Um, I've seen Buffalo the most, obviously many times. Um, I've seen Pittsburgh, Cleveland, Toronto, Orlando, Jacksonville, San Antonio. I really and Chicago, but I guess that's kind of a lot of cities. We're talking cities, but um, I don't really go. I haven't really been in the city. I've only been like in the middle of like Buffalo and San Antonio. So I'll say San Antonio. I like San Antonio. They got a bunch of cool stuff there like, in the city. But interest besides roller coasters, I already told you. Um, one memorable experience from a park could be good, bad, or funny. Um, well, my two most memorable experiences are meeting amusement insiders. That's my good experience, meeting amusement insiders um, for the first time outside of Yukon Striker and riding it in the same train as him and getting stuck on Steel Vengeance for half an hour is pretty memorable. Um, at the time, I was still extremely scared of heights, so I did not like it at all. That was a bad experience, um, and I'm still kind of scared of heights, but, like, not too much, like, I do rides, of course, but, no. Uh, Austin's Amusement Parks asked, I haven't seen him in a while, but, favorite ice cream? I like chocolate chip cookie dough and cookies and cream. Um, yeah, I like those. Um, favorite park, Cedar Point. Favorite element on roller coaster you've ridden? Oh my goodness, that's a tough one. There's a lot. Um, I like Jack Rabbit's Double Down. I like Phantom's Revenge. I like the hill on Phantom's Revenge before it's Double Down. Um, there's a lot. I like Top Throw Dragster's Launch. Um, there's a few elements on Maverick that I like, but that's really just the whole package together. Um, yeah, I really just like those three the most, I would say. Um, Top Thrill Dragster's launch, and then those other two at Kennywood. Um, Racer, the last hill on Racer is pretty good, too. You get some strong air in the back. Um, when am I going to do a face reveal? Asked Michaela Coasters. Saying a face reveal, but a face is showing. Capital Coasters asked GCI or CCI. I don't think I've ridden any of them. I don't think I've ridden a CCI. Maybe I have, I don't know. But GCI, I know I haven't. So I'm gonna say, right? Yeah, I'm gonna say GCI. I haven't written any of them. Premier Gerslauer. Let's think of some premieres I've written. I've written Skyrocket. I haven't written that many premieres. Skyrocket. Um, Poltergeist. Gerslauer. I've written. I've written Tantrum. I think. Um, and Pandemonium. At Fiesta Texas. So. From what I've ridden, I personally like um, Premiere better, but I'm predicting Gerslauer to be the better, like, as I ride more, like, Karin, I pronounced that wrong, I know, The Smiler, Cannibal, um, Lush von Novgorod, uh, Gerslauer's probably better, but from my experience, I like Premiere more. Gravity Group or GCI? I've ridden uh, two Gravity Groups, Switchback and Ravine Flyer 2. So, from one of what I've ridden, Gravity Group, but GCI is probably better. They have the Voyage, though, Gravity Group, but I don't know. Um, Ravine Flyer 2 is kind of overrated, but it's still a really good ride. Um, Gravity Group or CCI? Gravity Group. Um, X, X Coasters Forever asked, Favorite time of year to go to park? Halloween, Christmas, springtime, summertime. 
it depends what park. Like, if you're talking a park, like, during, like, um, summertime, if you're talking Cedar Point, probably spring or summer, like, the end of spring, like, yeah, and probably the end of spring, like, end of May, beginning of June, um, I've been to Cedar Point mostly at the end of June, so, um, but Fiesta Texas definitely in the springtime or Christmas or Halloween because it's cooler. Um, but yeah. So Adrenaline Rush asked, "What is your favorite way to make people feel like they need a bath so bad that they have to wash all their coaster knowledge, then throw them in a mud pit, followed by lightning rods, launching quad down, finishing the assault with Maverick, Stangle dive, and I three hundred five's first turn?" Feel free to answer the question in point form. Or use full sentences if you wish. Um, let me think about that one and answer it later in the video. Racing Fan Twenty Eight asked, "Favorite non-coaster YouTubers?" Ah, oh, this is tough. I like PewDiePie, but and I, I like Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast is probably top three for non-coaster YouTubers. Um. I like, like, have you seen those comparison videos? Like, um, let me see if I can find them, because I'm on here. So, there's, like, comparison videos, like, where you see the chances of something. Like, I really like those videos, like, so I guess I could say I like those channels. I like, um, Steven Crowder. I've been asking, I've been watching a lot of Steven Crowder. Go watch some Steven Crowder, um. Some of you might not agree with this stuff, but you probably should, but whatever. Um, so, probability comparisons. Um, let me see some of the channels that they have, because I like a lot of these probably. Um, I don't really know how to say this, but here, let me see if I can turn you around. Um, can you see that? I don't, I don't really know if you can see it, but it says the channel name. Um, I don't want any structure or anything, but I like those. And then Steven Crowder. Uh, it's like it's political, but I like watching him. So, yeah. If you're wondering what, if you hear background music, I have some. Beats playing in the back for some background music, you know. But, uh, yeah, anyway, um, that's my, those are some of my favorite non coaster YouTubers. Favorite color? I've liked red for the longest time when I was a little, little bit younger. I liked green, like lime green, and then I liked red for a few years now. But, I like turquoise and like teal now. Like, I, I enjoy it. Like, this color, I really, I love this color. Like, this and red are my favorite colors. Um, any pets? Yeah, I got three dogs and a cat. Um, and I got two pet rocks. Favorite song? Oh, my! I should tell you, my dogs' names are Bruno, Blitz, and Sherman. Um, my cat's name is Lucy. Um, favorite songs? This has changed from the past year, I know that. Um, I might pronounce some of them wrong. Um. Some songs that I like now are like they change really like a lot. So in a week it might be different, but I like Futsal Shuffle by Lil Uzi. Where I like Yes Sirski by Twenty One Savage and Lil Uzi. Um, uh, I like a lot of Tupac songs, like Dear Mama. I like uh, his first song called Same Song. I like that. Uh, some other songs that I like are Changes, I Get Around is a good one, um, Hit em Up, Hit em Up is a great one, um, To Live and Die in LA, all of them, I'm naming all of them, man, but, uh, favorite sports teams, um, Bills, Sabres, Cavaliers, um, and Pittsburgh Pirates, I don't watch a lot of baseball but 
I like the Pittsburgh Pirates because I I played T-ball when I was like four, and I was put on the Pirates. Um, Boston are like kind of close, so gotta say Pittsburgh Pirates. Um, I hate Miami Marlins. Um, I hate the New England Patriots, the Golden State Warriors. I like. I like the Seahawks. They're not my favorite, but I like the Seahawks. I like the um, Calgary Flames and Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, I like Milwaukee Bucks and Brooklyn Nets, but Bills, Sabres, Cavaliers, and Pirates are my favorite four. I don't watch any other sports, really. Um, like soccer. No, gross. Um, we're talking about sports, not soccer. What are your top 15 bucket list coasters? Well, top 15 bucket list coasters. I, I can only name some of them right now, but I ain't named 15. Um, I probably, I could name 15. El Toro, Iron Glossy, Zadra, Intimidator 3 5, Lightning Rod, The Smiler, DC Rivals, T Express, um, Expedition G Force, um, Ijunaika, Dino Condo. Um, I want a Red X2, pretty rad. Yeah, um, Leck, Coaster, Hyperion, I really want to ride Hyperion, um, what are some other rides, Fury 325, I want to ride a lot, there's so many of them, I, I want to ride everything, <laughs> that's for you, um, Roller Coasters Worldwide asks, what do you think is the very best park in the world, probably Cedar Point, because they have the best ride collection, probably. They got Steel Vengeance, which is Steel Vengeance. They got Maverick, which is just a beast that has everything. It's like Steel Vengeance with the launch, but not as long. But it's a little different, but that's what I think about it. Um, Millennium Forest is a beast. Um, Tagiga. Um, Strata. Top Throw Dragster. Um, Battle Ravens. Fun. I know it's not the most forceful. Not everybody likes it, but it's fun. Magnum is just... Legend, um, but do you have more GP friends or more enthusiast friends? On YouTube, I have way more enthusiast friends, but in real life, I don't have any enthusiast friends at all. I don't, I don't, I've never met an enthusiast, like, besides at an amusement park. Like, an amusement park is the only place I met an enthusiast. Outside, I've never met an enthusiast. My friend, Jake, um, he's extremely GP, but he's more advanced than normal. Because he's my friend, and I teach him. And he likes Maverick and Seal Vengeance. So, like, he's not entirely GP, but he's still GP. What's your favorite water ride? My favorite water ride, I like Brain Drain at Six Flags, Darien Lake. That's, um... Tech, do you call them? I'm, I wouldn't call myself GP at water slides, but um, roller coasters are my thing. Like I'm using park ride, like flat rides and roller flat rides and roller coasters are what I, what I do. I don't I, I like water slides, but I'm not as much into them, so I can't really remember what it is. Um, yeah, brain drain it, Darian. Like look it up, it's pretty good. I like at Splash Lagoon, I like, um, oh my goodness, Ugh. what's it called, it's called Hurricane, oh my god, it's called Hurricane, so, hold on, I got. I need to look this up, I need to, I, I can't, I can't, what, it was wrong with me, <laughs> Google, now let's look up, Splash Lagoon. Hurricane Hole. Hurricane Hole. Hurricane Hole is a great ride. That's probably my favorite. I probably like that more than um, Brain Drain. Brain Drain's really good ride. It's probably number two behind Hurricane Hole. But there's a lot of great, a lot of great water slides at Splash Lagoon in Erie, Pennsylvania. You should go to. Special Goon, do you like American Bears? Um, they're fine. They got some wild mouses, wild mice there. They got some good rides, but they're not amusement parks. Um, 
definitely go to amusement parks instead. Um, unless there's a ride there that you can get a credit. If you haven't gone before. Um, it's my real name. No, my first name is Brady. What's your favorite coaster outside of Cedar Point? Behemoth. Canada's Wonderland. Will you ever do a face reveal? Yup. Do I play the games like Fortnite, Call, uh, Call of Duty, GTA, Roblox? I don't play any of those. I I have Minecraft, but I mainly play sports games like Madden, NHL, and NBA 2K. Um, and then I play like Maverick. I have Sims. Um, I have Uncharted 1 through 3. I don't have 4. But yeah. Are you going to do a face reveal for a special video? Um, like Coaster Nate. Shout out to Coaster Nate, that's all I can say. Um, let's see, there's some replies. Are there any more questions? Um, okay. Um, Crazy Coasters asked Favorite basketball team? Cleveland Cavaliers. Favorite rapper? I can't get Tupac. Tupac, Tupac. What are your favorite hobbies outside of coasters and YouTube? Um, three sports. And yeah. I like animals, too. I like animals. Um, and uh, I like animals. I love geography. Geography. Ge I like sports. Um, places around the world, like locations. Like, I love going on Google Earth and just looking at different places in the world it's so cool to me i like sports geography and animals um but yeah my favorite food also by capital coasters is um i like pizza it depends on what pizza but most pizza most pizza um i like some ice cream but pizza for sure i don't, I don't know it's kind of boring but Pizza is the best. Um, what are the top five Six Flags parks, in my opinion, order same as Cedar Fair? Um, I can't really predict because I haven't been to all, all of them, but number one, I would say Six Flags Magic Mountain. Number two, Six Flags Great Adventure. Number three, um, this is tough. This is tough. I want to say Fiesta Texas, but I don't, I don't like thinking that I've already been the, the best. I like to think that there's better to come. So I'll say number three, um, Six Flags Great America. Number four, number four, I'll say Six Flags Over Georgia. And number five. So, so, number five, Six Flags, Fiesta, Texas. Number four, Six Flags, over Georgia. Um, number three, Six Flags, Great America. Number two, Six Flags, Great Adventure. Number one, Six Flags, Magic Mountain. Um, I'd give Six Flags, New England, an honorable mention. And then, Sear Fair. It's just, it's just a quick little prediction. I don't know. I'd have to sit down and think about it. But, same thing with the Cedar Fair. I think Cedar Fair is more easy, because I think I have ranked the parks at Cedar Fair, but... I'm going to say number one, Cedar Point, obviously. Number two, Carowinds. No, um, number three, I think I put. I think I put in number three, Kings Island. Number, or no, number three, King's Dominion. Number four, Kings Island. Number five, Knott's. Um, so number five, Knott's Berry Farm. Number four, Kings Island. Number three, Kings Dominion. Number two, Carowinds. And number one, Cedar Point. So, um, no or yes by Phantom Coasters. Um, maybe. What's my number one bucket list coaster? El Toro. What's your favorite color? Red or turquoise? Um, so I don't got them in. I have some questions from my mom. Who would you most like to ride next to on a roller coaster? Not somebody I've already ridden with. So I can't say her. You know, I haven't ridden on many coasters with her. Um, I would say I'd love to ride on a coaster with El Toro Ryan, maybe. With either El Toro Ryan, um, Logan Joyner from Coaster Kids, 
Taylor Bybee, Coaster Studios. So, Coaster St- El Toro, Coaster Kids, Coaster Studios. Um, I like to ride on it with Airtime Thrills. I'm naming some of my favorite channels. Um, I'll, I'll probably... Alright, I'll name my three. So, my three that I'd like to ride on with the most is... Logan from Coaster Kids. Ryan from El Toro Ryan. And, um... Sean from Theme Park Worldwide. Those are my three. What would you name a roller coaster if you n- n- could name one? Um, I think I, I've had a name called Shock, which I thought was a good name. But, um, like, if you had, like, a, I was thinking, like, Intamin Blitz, Blue Track, Yellow Supports, call it Shock. Like, kind of Maverick-type-ish. If, if you guys make a... Whoever's willing to make a Maverick Intamin Blitz type ride, uh, if you make it blue track and yellow supports, and you, if you call it shock, and if it's good enough, how about this? I will give you a free t shirt, a free Mr. Roller Coasters t shirt, like merch. I will buy you that. Um, if you make a blue track. Yellow support, Intamin Blitz, Maverick type coaster, named Shock. Okay, um, I'll do that for you. I swear. Um, like this yellow, this blue, maybe a little lighter, but maybe a tiny bit lighter. But I don't know. Just kind of electric blue, um, or royal blue. And for the track, yellow for the supports. This yellow for the supports. I'll give you a free Mr. Lucas's t-shirt. If you do that, call it shock. All right. What do you feel is the best landscape to build a roller coaster in? That's a really good question. Um, I like building it in, like, little valleys. Like, I like next to, I like Iron Rattlers a lot. Um, like, if I was using an example, I like Iron Rattlers, Thunderbolts. It's not a great ride, but I like where it is, um. Jackrabbit and Phantoms of Runge. I, I like, like little valleys like that. At what age do you think I'll stop riding roller coasters? Um, Never, but if I had to choose, probably 69. Um, I don't know how to say his name, but last one. This is the last question. It's by Coaster Yaris. I think that's how you say it. What is the most intriguing coaster in Europe for you? And what is your most anticipated 2020 coaster? My most intriguing coaster in Europe for me is the Smiler. And Expedition G Force. Um, I'll go with the Smiler. The Smiler, for sure. Um, kind of, yeah. What's my most anticipated 2020 coaster? El Toro, for sure. It looks like one of the best rides in the world. Um, I just can't wait to ride it. I actually would be at Great Six Flags Great Adventure today, um, if we could go, but I'm not. So, um. Yeah, that's my most anticipated 2020 coaster. I'm also planning on going to Cedar Point, which I've already been there. Six Flags, Darien Lake, I've been there. Um, Nickelodeon Universe, but none of those. And I'm excited for those, but those don't have any contenders. And then Kings Island, which has some, but El Toro for sure. So that'll do it for this q and It's kind of a long video, but I hope you, um, I hope you stayed around. Remember, I'll get you a free... Uh, Mr. Roller Coaster's merch, a t-shirt, um, I'll give you, uh, the color of it, I'm gonna, I'm just, I'm gonna give you, um, the cover, like, like, the first design that's on there for it, I'll, I'll, like, the color for it, this is, hold on, let me show you real quick. So, this is what I'll get, either that. Or, okay, so I was going to say, or I'll give you the Glurg merch, like the same color, um, just with Glurg on it, whatever your choice was, but apparently the Glurg merch isn't on there anymore, so it's just my logo. Um, I'll figure that out, but I'll if you make a roller coaster, an Intamin Blitz Maverick type roller coaster, and it's good enough, 
with this color yellow and with this color blue, maybe a tiny bit lighter, it doesn't matter. Um, and if you call it shock, S H O C K, shock, I will give you a free one, but only the first to do it. If you're the second to do it, I'm sorry, but I'm I'm sorry. I'll give you a shout out if you do it, but the f only the first to do it, I'll give you one of that. So, thank you so much for watching. I don't want to make this too too long, so this outro won't be too long. So, just I'll see you later. Um, goodbye.